Hey guys, welcome to Redneck Off The Range and today I'm going to do a quick update on the lake. Now some of you may recall that a couple of months ago I posted a video uh, illustrating the fact that we put this aeration system in the lake and we were not told the proper way to use the aeration system. In fact, the company didn't even like act like there was a specific way to use the aeration system other than to just turn it on and let it run. And by the end of 24 hours, we basically made the water so toxic that it killed all of our fish. So in this lake behind me, we used to have bluegill, we had bass, crappie, catfish, and grass-eating carp. And then of course, you know, all your feeder fish like your minnows and stuff. And it you know, we pulled out at least 1,500 fish, and I would say that there were at least 500 more still floating or washed up on the bank uh, by the time we left for the weekend. And so I'd say that there was well over 2,000 fish, maybe even up to 3,000 fish, because we don't even know how many like we didn't even see, uh, were killed because of the aeration system. Now, I also said in that video that the company is going to help us bring the lake back to life. And so um, they sold us these muck biotics products um, at cost. And so we put two months worth in the lake so far. And um, you know, I, I guess it's making it better. I mean, a couple weeks ago I came out and there was a lot of green algae on the lake, but they said that that's normal, that the algae blooms and then it dies off. And so um, basically what the muck biotics does is it's going to eat away at the muck at the bottom of the lake and I mean there's like 50 60 70 years worth of muck in this lake um, and paired with the aeration system that's going to really help eat that muck away and so we still have one more month of that to do and then possibly be doing that again next year but I mean it, it is kind of expensive so we'll see um, how much of that we do but it is uh, a start and then the other thing they were going to do is they were going to give us Fish. At least that's the way it made it. They made it seem to us. So this uh, fall, or possibly in the spring, depending on how much stock they have, um, they're going to give us uh, 2,100 uh, bluegill, hybrid bluegill, and red ear sunfish. I believe it was a thousand bluegill, maybe uh, 500 hybrids, and then 600 red ear, or maybe that's maybe that's reversed. But it's a thousand bluegill. And so that's 2,100 uh, fish, plus they were going to give us, I believe, 30 pounds of minnows, fathead minnows, and that is roughly 7,500 minnows on top of the minnows that are still living in this lake. And that is the update I want to show you guys is because uh, this lake is actually thriving with life right now. Now it's not fish, although you know, twice this morning and then a couple weeks ago, I actually saw what appeared to be a fish splash. Um, but there are lots of lots and lots of minnows and lots and lots of frogs in this lake right now. And I have never seen this many frogs. And the reason is because there's really no predators. I mean, you know, we basically killed all the bass and the crappie. And uh, I don't know if catfish really eat frogs, but if they do, that's another predator. So basically all the predators are dead, except for maybe a couple of fish that are still living. Um, but if you walk along the bank uh, and you look closely, you'll see lots and lots of minnows. And you can even like see them on the top of the water because they, they swim right at the top of the water and you can just see swirls, but you can't really see anything. You gotta look really, really close and you'll see all these minnows and of course with no predators they're just going to keep reproducing i thought i read somewhere that fathead minnows spawn every four to five days which seems like a lot and they produce like uh, like 200 eggs or something every spawn um and without any real predators i mean frogs will probably eat some of them but without like all the bass and the, the crappie and the bluegill i mean those uh, minnows they're just gonna reproduce like crazy and that's good because by the time we get the bass in and the the crappie and the catfish all those predator fish they'll have lots and lots of food to eat on you know on top of all the frogs that are along the bank and I'm gonna take you along the bank and we're gonna show you uh, exactly how many frogs are in this 
this lake. I mean, there are thousands upon thousands. And I mean, I've, I've never seen this many frogs. And uh, a couple weeks ago, I saw some really big tadpoles, like bullfrog tadpoles, things that I've never seen in this lake before. So there are tons and tons of frogs. So tons and tons of, of food for these new fish to eat whenever they get stocked and get big enough. Uh, but like I said before, uh, just like 10 minutes ago, I was driving along the bank and I should have been recording the camera, but there was a big splash right here, uh, you know, probably a few feet off the edge. And it definitely was not a frog, at least not uh, an average sized frog. I mean, I guess there are really big frogs in this lake, but to me, it just seemed like a fish. And that's the third time I've seen this big splash along the bank first time it was about 20 feet out so I know that uh, at least I would assume that is not a frog and just by the way it moved it didn't like like frogs have a very distinctive jump and they'll like jump or they'll jump several times and like skip across the water this was more of a, a swimming motion you know like fish how they kind of slither almost like a snake when they take off or when they take uh, change directions so I mean it just seemed like something was you know stationary and all of a sudden it just swam off and you know did like one of those little slithery moves and then swam off very distinctive movement that i don't think a frog typically makes so i think there may be at least one if not a few fish left in this lake now if there are fish there are few and far between um and even with a few large fish that i don't think is going to really affect the stocking of the fish because i mean this lake is huge well not huge but it's three acres but you know, for, for you know, just a few fish, I mean, that's a huge area um, for these fish to swim around in and uh, forage on all these other fish and frogs and everything. So I don't think a few fish are going to affect it. Um, and that's assuming that they're predator fish. I mean, they could be grass eating carp. I don't know, I haven't seen them. All I, I mean, they just kind of surprise me because I'm not expecting anything to be there. And then all of a sudden, boom, big splash of water. So. I'm going to take you along the bank and I'm going to show you just how many frogs there are in this lake and we'll see if we can find one of those big splashes and determine whether or not that is a fish. All right, we are in the golf cart and we're going to start driving right down between the tree and the lake and where I saw that first splash or the second splash, I saw one splash here early this morning and then I saw another splash over here. So let's see if we can make anything else splash and see how many frogs this will spook. Tons and tons of frogs in here. Thousands and thousands of frogs. And then of course that right there, that is the life that you do not want in your lake. Those are lily pads that are growing and they were not there two weeks ago. Um, if they were, they were not that big. So those things grow really fast. So I think I'm gonna get the garden hoe out and uh, cut some of these larger lily pads out because if we don't have any grass eating carp, they're obviously not going to be eating this. First time I ever saw one of those big splashes was right in the corner of the lake right here. Never seen this many frogs before, guys. It's crazy. This is also where I saw those really big tadpoles. 
and I thought they were fish, but they were tadpoles. All right, guys, so that's your quick update on the lake. Wasn't able to catch that big splash on camera, but I may take the camera out uh, anytime I go walking around the lake and just try to video and see if I can find one of those big splashes again. I'm kind of hoping there are some fish left in this lake, um, I, and I really kind of hope that they're carp because we got a lot of vegetation that needs to be taken care of. But um, I just don't know what it is. Could be a bass, could be a catfish. I don't I kind of don't think it's a catfish, but it could be. Um, or it could be, like I said, a carp. So anyway, that's all for this update. So subscribe to my channel and until next time, be safe.